welcome back everyone. Uh, so today I'm going to talk about a perk, which some people might know about, some may not. I only found, or I have this, have had it equipped for a while. These are my test subjects up there. But it's the, um, uh, electrical, um, absorption, there it is. Electrical absorption. It is amazing, and or pretty much, well, I'll go back in and show you. So it, um, that wrong one. Uh, so you see that 10 percent chance to um, uh, enemy, or pretty much to absorb your enemy's um, energy attacks, and it recharges your power armor and your health. Now it technically doesn't show you there, but or at least it did work for me. I don't know. I haven't tested it probably because my health is full. But pretty much what it does is when you are getting hit by the electrical damage, you have a chance to absorb the um, the electrical damage. So I'll also test I'll try and get shot by Well actually I've got some grenades. Mine and two. I'll show you how it works. Um because it is actually quite good. Now it doesn't happen all the time around, right? it's a 10% chance. You can see why how low my power arm is and my health. Now you saw there, the power arm is fusion cord just went up, and so did my health. Now, the reason why, in a sense, this is, um, <coughs> pardon me, um, so overpowered for, well, it is, but it isn't, because, well, if you're wearing power armor, this is only power armor, say goodbye to people with energy weapons, like Tesla rifles, they ain't gonna do nothing but heal you. Um, unless it's explosive, I suppose. Um, that's not even touching me now. Because now that's um, actual ballistic damage that Mr. Handy's doing. Okay, now, so you can see there. Now they will do mellow, but as you can see, he keeps on shooting at me. And my fusion core is nearly full. And uh, so, it, not my health, but my fusion core is. Let's keep letting him do that a few more times. He should, should trigger. I say it should, it probably won't. It's probably glitched. Um, might have to go back to where I first found out about it. Okay, no, this went up a little bit more. Now, my fusion core now is pretty much 100% full. Now, I would actually highly recommend you max this um, per card out. I just need to get rid of some stuff. Um, for the reason of, well, it obviously gives you a heap of, um, well, health and a lot of waste. Um, yeah, it, it won't, it won't fully keep you alive forever. <coughs> but, um, it will keep you alive for a, a fair while. Now, I haven't done a missile silo for a while. But I'm quite sure the, they're all robots in there, which obviously laser. Which there is a turret that um, does do laser damage, obviously. So you, if you've got a laser <coughs> that keeps on shooting at you, and you've got a 10% ch chance to do that, you've got a pretty good chance of it working for you. So I will go down to... Down here to um, White Spring. Now, this is actually where I first found out about because I was in between killing off the robots there and out of nowhere, I was wondering why am I not taking damage for? Because I was being shot by lasers just constantly. <coughs> Got a bit of a cough out right now, a bit of a throat tickle. Um, but yeah, like, I was wondering why it, 
I wouldn't take no damage. And I found out that's why. Uh, whilst I thought it was a normal perk, I couldn't figure it out. I, I um, looked through my stats to see if there's any um, thing I took that done it. Um, say, same scenario. Um, and I'm thinking, why is this doing this for? You know, it is actually quite weird. Um, now there is another one I probably would do a video on, but that won't be for a while, I suppose. Um, now the sentries are one of the biggest things you need to worry walk out for, because they don't do laser damage. They do um, ballistic damage, which is a pain. But this is why, like I said, I was wondering why I wasn't taking any damage. But this is why, as you can see, the uh, Mr. Handies and Protectron is shooting me with their lasers, which is healing me and my um, fusion core. So, potentially, you only need to carry around one to two fusion oh, super so just broke. Um, one to two fusion cores at a time. Because of this exact reason, I'll give you a stand here, except for the. Um, these dudes shooting, or actually melee hitting. But if again, if you just stand here and let these dudes do exactly what they're doing, which is um, constantly hitting you with lasers, you won't die. Which, yeah, it might be kind of cheating to some. Um, I have a feeling this might get patched or nerfed, um, which I hopefully it doesn't. I just want to make everyone aware of you know this is a really an actual really good way to um stay alive but I uh, everything's dead now the only thing actually I will say you can't get XP from those robots for some reason I don't know why um but yeah I think I've covered it all but yeah like that's electrically or electric absorption I would highly recommend to everyone to go get it and max it out because you get a 20% chance, I believe. Um, for, yeah, 20% chance, which, you know, if you're fighting, obviously, robots, it's going to be amazing. Obviously. Um, so, you know, it is honestly one of the, one of the best perk cards. Oh, there's another dude. Um, there is one more I, again, probably do a video on which I have. Um... But I, I don't know. I'll, I'll need to test out a bit more before I say if I before I actually do any type of videos or anything about the um, perk card. But um, other than that, hope everyone's enjoyed, and um, you know, go get the uh, perk because it is honestly amazing. See, so if, so if anyone's wondering, this is a uh, instigating um, missile launcher. I'm trying to max them out. Because if anyone does not know, uh, as well before I go, explosives got a buff, and they're pretty good now. So that's all from me. Hope everyone's enjoyed, and uh, see you all in the next video.